Hello everyone, today is Monday, September 24th. Today I want to talk about a, a chopping pattern in the market and at the same time analyze corn. I know corn is not in everyone's mind, but it was certainly over the past summer with the drought in the Midwest. So let's start with this chart of corn futures and we'll go over a few things that are on this chart. First thing, you can see the 50 day moving average here. That has been broken to the downside. We can see support of some kind here. Let's just mark it out. Some sort of support broken there. Is that a rising wedge of some kind? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But this support is broken. The 50 day average is broken. And a volume surge. I have a very pale yellow line here showing that volume started surging around here, which kind of coincided to this failure to get back to the top of this trading range, if you will. And the last thing on the chart is this faint line here. I want to keep that faint on purpose so we didn't really see, it didn't really get in the way of the, the daily analysis. But let's put this over to a weekly chart. And look at that. This was the all-time high in 08. Or actually, not all-time high, but a major high in 08. Three major highs last year. And once again, put it back to daily, serving as support. So you have three bits of support here for corn breaking to the downside with volume uh, volume confirmation. Now let's look look at something um, that may be a little closer to home. This is the corn fund. It is an ETN or ETF, doesn't really matter. It is a vehicle that uh, people who are not trading futures can use to look at corn. And that is a rounded top if I ever saw one. Just gradual shift from up to down with the break of the 50 day average. Not quite the same with volume, but it was kind of falling until the real break or real breakdown in here started happening. Then the volume picked up a bit. So here is a nice real world example of a rounded top and one man's opinion that uh, the rally in corn seems to be um, pretty much done. That's it for now. We'll see you next time and uh, have a good one.